if you hit percentage of overhead low, but historically we had an <coughs> average of around 30%. You look for you know, yeah. 30%. Now we are, you know, when, I, when I, I looked, we should have, historically we had cost of labor per total, in the company wide, including materials, because the materials is shifting materials. You make one material 15% or 10%, and labor you make twice as much. You sell it twice or two and a half in the shop. But somehow, when these things blend together, our labor <coughs> cost, labor, total cost of goods sold, including material, everything, was like 55%. 58. You know what is now? And I'm not, dumb, I'm not blaming anybody. Because think about this job that two thirds was done with outside labor. On that, you don't have, you don't double that. So you have a, a small markup. It's 20%, not 100%. You don't double it, it's only 20%. And that is skewing your results. So you look now, it's not, it's not 55, 58% is going to, uh, no, higher. Because uh -huh. it's going to, labor cost is 70% because you, all the money that you make, you have to pay to advantage, almost all the money. You, d you don't have, you don't have overhead on that, of course, <coughs> but you don't. But when you read the total cost of goods sold uh, as a percentage, it's much higher than before because you cannot sell their labor as we sell our labor. Right. <coughs> and I understand that. I understand that. But still, still there. Then you have to say, you cannot have it at 65% uh, and then you, you have your your uh, overhead 35% and you make profit at 0%. 35, 65. <coughs> <coughs> so, <clears throat> I'm waiting for some things to happen. But I'll, I'll tell you something. In 30 days, we have to make drastic <clears throat> decisions. I'm not going to make it by myself. If necessary, I will. But I don't want to. Because this is not the way that I operate. Or all of a sudden, uh, you say, man, what's happened? Paul is crazy. He does things. Uh, well, <laughs> not to see like each other eye to eye, you know, say, hey, what's happening here? But I'll tell you, I would have done this and I didn't want to do it during the hol holidays. I didn't do it for other reason after that. And I still want to wait another, I have good reason to wait another 30 days. But I'm not sure if we can go beyond that. So, we have to. I heard, you know, with this uh, new deal that we, that uh, application to have a uh, quick base, I mean, the, the whole thing, the meeting that's supposed to be. I'm sorry for that, you didn't go to the meeting. I, I was getting out. Your food was there. I didn't eat either, but you did eat your food. And, but I, I told you, you want to go to the meeting? You can go. I told you. But you didn't want to go. But I looked at those things. It's not going to help us. And if you ask Cindy, the QuickBooks, 
I look since then, this weekend, I look over QuickBooks. We can do a lot with QuickBooks Plus. We must. This deal expires uh, every three years. You have to buy a new version of QuickBooks. If not, we cannot go any longer with accounting if we do not. And I was, uh, I was thinking to... <coughs> As we buy this expires on May 19th. So we have a month, virtually. A month to do it. I have to talk to Cindy. She's going to call those guys and say, do you want to recommend something to come here to convert the world with the new? It's not that hard. We have to shut down for a day, you know, those things. Converted, and then the same persons, if, if that person has to be quali highly qualified, we may pay some extra to create templates to take care of other things and to make it easy. Otherwise, we have to hire another person here to, you know, just, just, you know, spending money. And we can't. Maybe if we, if we make it uh, 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 very easy, may, may we, uh, we may have uh, one of the uh, ladies in accounting, maybe we uh, train as a... Uh, salesperson or anything but we have to figure out how we and I, I think let me see because I, I don't want to say something that's not true Christian or Jennifer I think was not was not Cindy. He said, "Well, uh, Rory talk uh, about uh, that deal, how we uh, buy things and uh, making the case probably for this." And I, I was talking to him about that. Did you talk to him? Did you share with him? You buy everything for a job, it's under control. You cannot say that. Oops, we don't have this. You have a. Either if we have a lump sum, a coat job, or time and material before we start working, when we are ready to, after DNI inspection, or whatever, on the time, on some things you may have DNI, or uh, in NDT, NDT, non destruction test. Yes, okay. yeah. You, you, you have those. And this is the list of material. We buy everything. If you need some glue, if you need a, 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 a spray, a cleaner, uh, rags, for everything is on the job. Absolutely, 100%. And you are on work, your workstation. And I thought that I heard one of these, maybe Christian said that uh, Ruri is going to do that. Did you, did you share with him? or just? We, we had talked about that a few months back. <coughs> about uh, getting, but like I talked to you about, consumables, your degreasers, your WD-40 and all that, you, you, don't, you don't buy it against a vendor for a specific job. You buy it in bulk and you put it in and then you it gets purchased can by can. Okay, against I, I didn't say that you have to buy it for this job and, and uh, pay f even for delivery for a can. No. Right. You buy a lot, but you know what? Somebody has to provide <coughs> as if it's bought a day to have it, everything for that job. Right. I want the job, the, the guy cuts, you know, drainer one day. I see him leaning against the wall. He, he's waiting for, and he comes back with a can of uh, DW4 or something, a cleaner or something. That's what I meant. I didn't say, oh, buy. I see that sometimes you buy a few things and it, it's costing up $30 and delivery is... Uh